highly, highly requested video and this is to show my favourite all-time brushes. Now this was so hard to whittle down and I'm still showing you a load because I own, at last count, nearly 600 brushes. Now I know that sounds a bit crazy. I've been collecting brushes for years. This is going back like about 10 years. I have some that are that old that I take really good care of. So it's my main collection. I collect brushes, it's my thing. And um, it's taken years and years and years to get that. And many of them are like part of like cheaper brush sets. So it's not like they're all really, really high quality, like really expensive ones. So, um, but I love my brushes. Anyhow, I'm gonna jump in and show you my most used personal use brushes. These are the ones that I really, really, love show you what i use them for and um or i'll tell you what i use for them for and i'll also let you know my favorite brush sets at the end of the video so i'm going to start off with easily my use my most used brush and it's this guy here by real techniques i love the real techniques brushes this is the blush brush now i use this for powder i find that it's more than big enough to use for blush there is a powder one again which it looks the exact same as this i think it could be purple though and it's or gold i'm not sure but it's bigger i don't love big brushes and you'll see that i don't use bronzer on myself so i just don't need it for anything like that and this kind of size one is more than big enough for my face this has a little stand which is so handy I just love how soft it is. Of course, it's synthetic, so it's very environmentally friendly, say, or, well, I don't know if that's environmentally friendly, actually, because I don't know how well they would be when you discard, you know, how, how healthy for the environment is when you discard of them, but it's, you know, good on the poor old animals. They're not getting hurt, so that's that one then when it comes to foundation real techniques really have gotten it right and this is of course down to sam who is um one half of pixie woo because that's her business she knows you know she knows her makeup brushes and her makeup so my favorite brush for cream kind of products or i love this as well for um mineral makeup you know like what, some anything you really have to buff in well to the skin basically it's the expert face brush love this i would use this as well for like cream contours and stuff like that but really for like mineral makeup this would be my most used one this is absolutely brilliant so it has a really dense dense head on it and again this is one of the synthetic ones well they're all synthetic by real techniques and this one also has a stand so it will stand up the other real techniques ones i love for makeup uh, for foundation this guy here which is the stippling brush um i use this all the time particularly on thicker foundation so again something that needs to be buffed in a lot and I use it to buff rather than stipple I never really stipple my makeup but that's another brilliant one I think all these ones that come like that are, that stand up by themselves are single I don't think any of those come in brush sets but these ones here that don't stand up by themselves do come in brush sets and this is my favorite one for liquid foundation and it's the buffing brush so that's another brilliant brilliant brush and Real Techniques is very very fairly priced because it is a drugstore brand then another one I absolutely adore for foundation is the Zoeva brush and it's the Defined Buffer 103. Adore Zoeva brushes. Um, like I said, I'll let you know my favorite brush sets at the end, um, but Zoeva brushes really are fab. They're some of the best brushes out there and they look really, really classy. I love this one. The angle is brilliant for getting in around the nose or even up underneath the eye. Um, really lovely and again it's synthetic and it feels so soft I can't get over how soft they feel really lovely lovely brushes and I highly recommend those to everyone moving on to like say contouring and highlighting I kind of use the same brushes for both the ones that I'm using just all the time are, are the Lux Highlight by Zoeva so even though it's the highlight one I actually use this for contouring as well the taper tip makes it perfect for getting in you know under the cheekbones or whatever and um, again it's just so soft I think this is a natural hair brush so you can get these singularly or they come in brush sets, whichever you prefer. And then the contour brush by Real Techniques again, this is a very similar shape. So if you're looking for a, you know, vegan alternative, that's the one to go for. And that's absolutely brilliant as well. So both of them do the same thing. You could technically use that for liquid foundations as well, but I use both them for highlights and for contouring. Then when it comes to contouring my nose, this one hands down is the one that I've used most more often than any other one this is the sigma performance blending e36 brush so it's an extremely teeny teeny tiny blending brush that's quite long though and i find it's absolutely perfect for contouring the nose it's just the absolute perfect size and it's not too floppy not too rigid it's just bang on so that's that one 
my two favorite concealer brushes and this is the one that I probably use in nearly every video I do on YouTube and it is the Sedona Lace EB13. Um, no other brush has ever come as close to being as perfect for concealer for me as this one. It is a synthetic brush. It is like a, you know, a, a, like a normal blending brush but it is totally synthetic and it just buffs it in perfectly. What I used to always use was something like the 224 by MAC which is a natural hair bristled brush and it's great for buffing in but it does absorb a lot of product because it's natural hair whereas this one is synthetic so it will actually just buff in the, the product for you without absorbing it all. I just love this. I actually got this with the, I think it was the Vortex collection by Sedona Lace which is a brilliant brilliant collection but that's that one. It's the EB13 Fab brush. And then my second favourite concealer brush is another Real Techniques one and it's the base shadow brush. So this is, I suppose, used, you can be used for eyeshadow or like cream eyeshadow or anything like that, but I prefer it for um, concealer. That's another brilliant one. So you can see there, it's just a typical kind of blending brush. Moving on to the eyes. So for eyeshadow, and you probably might be surprised that I'm not going to show the MAC 239, is it, what is it called? The... 239 that one there it's a grand one but it's not my favorite by any means my favorite brushes are okay first of all these two i use all the time and i think okay these feel like they're sable but i'm not sure um they are bh cosmetic brushes and i have this since like my first year on youtube so like going back nearly five years but they're just these really brilliant brushes i don't know how to describe them I can't even remember the name of the brush makeup brush uh, set that they were from but if I if I look it up and leave it below it is um they're just really they pick up powder brilliantly and there's not like a huge amount of fallout from them that's why I think it must be sable or something else like that natural because it really holds on to the product and you can really tightly pack on your eyeshadow with them because they're quite dense um they're not too floppy you know some of the ones that are too floppy will just let the powder go everywhere and that doesn't happen with these and I love the two different sizes because you know I need two different sizes sometimes depending on where I'm working on so those ones there the BH cosmetic eyeshadow brushes again there's no name on them because I think they came with the uh, set but love those brushes and then my other two favorite brushes are cheap cheap ones that are like one is a no well no they're not no name but they're ones you mightn't have heard of this is a manicure brush which I got in like Dunn stores which is just a local grocery store and it's just a really like basic brush I think it's synthetic now this is kind of floppy but the reason I love it is because it works as a great eyeshadow brush as well as a blending brush. It's just one of those ones that I can use in a hurry if I want to blend and pack on and it's just brilliant. So it's like shaped like a regular eyeshadow brush but it is much fluffier and it's really really floppy um, and that wouldn't always be ideal but it's great if you want something that'll do both. So that's that, I'd say I spent about four euros on it. And then this one here by, I think it's Miss Makeup which is just an eyeshadow brush I got in Boots yonks ago. Again, going back a good maybe five, six, seven years. I've had it forever and it's still going strong. It's just a great wee brush. It's, um, it does what it's, what it's supposed to do and you know, it's lasted me very, very well. It's called the eye shading brush. They don't even sell it there anymore. I like that it has like a rubber grip there in the center as well so that you can grip onto it, but that's that. Then for um, angled brushes and again, a lot of people say the, What's the MAC one? The 266 by MAC. But my favourite ones are the Wing Liner Brush by Zoeva, the 317, which is this one here. Um, it looks the exact same like the MAC one, but it just feels a little bit more sturdy. I preferred the bristles on it and um, I, I just really, really love it. This is from the Rose Gold collection, which is a lovely collection. The only thing is the uh, rose, like the ferrule, can tarnish a little bit. The actual whatever they use to, to colour it tarnish and I think that's from using alcohol brush cleanser but the actual brush itself is just brilliant and then my second favorite one is actually I kind of have two of them because they have a really unique size and these are from the Coastal Sense 24 brush set um, and they're the same kind of thing but they're just smaller and sometimes you do want a really small brush that you can use for detail work and even though this is called the wing liner brush I actually more use it for eyeshadow like underneath the eye and for my eyebrows and then these two, again, depending on what I need it for, whether it be eyeliner or whatever, I use them. So they're absolutely brilliant as well. Blending brushes, um, I have to show the MAC 127 because that's like the, the, the mummy and the daddy of all the blending brushes. This is really is the ultimate blending brush. 
This one here that I own is, I'd say about eight years old. It's a pretty battered looking, but it's actually still fine. It works grand, it's in great use, and um, I have a good few of them since, but this is like one of my original brushes. It could be easily eight, nine years old, and it's still going strong. Now I have, to, I have thrown out one or two from when I first ever started makeup, like 10, 11, 12 years ago, um, like actually working in makeup, but, that one's still going great. Then the Zoeva Lux, Lux Soft Definer 227, uh, exact same thing, it's just a dupe. So this is just showing you other ones that are pra practically the exact same as the MAC 217. Sigma Blending E25, again, it's the exact same thing, but these ones will be a little bit less expensive than the MAC. And something that's a little bit different, the Zoeva Crease 228 brush. This is a beautiful brush. It's very like one of the um, Inglot brushes, but I just didn't get the Inglot brush because I have this one. Um, and this is kind of like a hybrid of the 224 and the 217, or maybe it's a little bit more the two, like the 224, but it's much softer. It's just a nicer brush. And that's the reason I'm not showing the 224. One of the reasons I'm not showing the 224 is because the new 224 by MAC isn't as nice as the old 224. They like changed makers or something or wherever they were being manufactured and um, I've seen brushes that friends of mine had from like 10 years ago and they're still immaculate they have their beautiful tapered shape they don't go all splayed and crap like the new 224 so that's why I'm not showing them but this one is lovely really love this and then finally which this is more of a tapered uh, brush it's a crease brush by Zoeva and it's the 231 petite crease and this is just a great one for um, underneath the eye or if you do have smaller eye space and you find that these traditional crease brushes or blending brushes are too big for your eye, something like this is brilliant and I just love this because I, like I said, I do use it a lot in my own crease. Basically the only pencil brush that I really always use is the MAC 219, geez, none of the, none of the numbers are still on them, but the 219, again, it's kind of the original one. It's brilliant for detail work and it's, it's just the right rigid, rigidity, so um, that's kind of the original one. There's loads of other like brands that I even I have that copy them, but that's the like main, main original one. And then when it comes to uh, detail work with brushes, I love my detail work because I love being able to get really close underneath the lower lash line. And my three favourite ones for that would be the 228 by MAC, which is an absolutely teeny tiny eyeshadow brush it's like like the 239 or whatever but just smaller this is a natural hair brush so carry it catches or picks up powder products really well then i also have the sigma smudge brush the e21 this is a tiny bit smaller and a little bit more rigid but it's really good for doing that detail work particularly underneath the eye and then finally i have the nyx smudge brush b17 which is the exact same thing pretty much and a little bit less expensive when it comes to eyeliner and you know liquid eyeliner or whatever, I don't actually tend to use these guys, which is like a angled brush that much. On myself, I use tiny, teeny little um, paint brushes. And the Mac 210 is brilliant, but it's 20 euro, and I don't really like to spend 20 euro a pop on these because they do tend to you, can, you kind of lose them with anything small like that. You lose them, or they get kind of ruined, and I don't know. Um, it's just not the kind of brush that tends to last for very long. I do love it though. Um, and then these ones here are just regular art brushes that I get from an art supply shop. I tend to go for like a size zero or a zero zero, sometimes a one round brushes and these tend to last a lot longer than makeup brushes and um, they cost a fraction of the price. So that's what I mainly use, particularly in my own kit. And then to finish everything off, my favourite lip brush is this guy here by MAC and it's 316. And the reason I love it is it is brilliant for travelling with. You know, it's one of those travel ones that you can pop in there. Um, but th I do love the shape and everything that does tend to hold its shape fairly well, particularly compared to some other like copies. Um, and that's that. So that's it. Now quickly for my favourite brush sets. The Real Techniques are brilliant. All the new Real Techniques brush sets pretty much are brilliant, particularly for the price. Even the little cases they come from, they come in are really handy. I don't actually use them for brushes, but they're really handy for just putting pencils and stuff in, like eye pencils. So they're brilliant. And again, they're really fairly priced, particularly because they are drugstore brands, a drugstore brand. 
the Sedona Lace Vortex Collection, which was actually designed by Ren Ren, makeup by Ren Ren, or Ren Montenegro, I think her name is, here on YouTube. Um, a brilliant, brilliant brush set. And the you can get it in a brush belt that zips, which is so handy for anyone who's mobile, like myself, who, you know, you do find that your brushes can go everywhere if, you know, you're a little bit in a hurry or whatever with your brush sets. Another brilliant brush set is the uh, Zoeva, the Zoeva brush set. So I have the rose gold one, you can get one that just has the regular kind of silver ones as well. I would go for the silver over the rose gold. The rose gold looks beautiful but it does start to tarnish after a while and I think that's from use of alcohol like I said from before. Um, brilliantly priced as well for the quality you get. Definitely check out the Zoeva brushes if you get a chance. And then really my other only like super super favourite brush set that kind of blew me away for the price was the Coastal Sense 24 piece brush set which is like all the brushes have these sleek black handles and ferrules and um, you'd think it'd be really cheap because I think it's about 40 euro, 40 dollars per brush set or 30 some, no 20, I don't know, it's, it's not that much anyhow, I'll leave the link below. But they're, they're great brushes, like really great brushes and there's a huge variety in them and they're just really really well made and it's great, it'd be a brilliant starter set for the price, um, even though I think they're brilliant brushes anyhow so I hope this was helpful guys I know it's another long video sorry about that but I just I was already leaving out so many brushes by even just showing these ones so um yeah I'll list them all below anyhow and thanks so many for watching so I'll chat to you soon so long guys